panel. Kurevi gets to the outside. Sends it really wide now for Kellaway. Kellaway's in again. In Australia Wallabies reliable leaders. If you are a fan of the Australian Wallabies, then you probably know that just recently on Saturday, the 2nd of October 2021, they enjoyed some history as they became the first Australian side to claim four straight wins in either the Rugby Championship or Tri Nations. Their celebrations were, however, cut short when they realized that Karevi, the man who contributed the most to their evolutionary performance in the one last month, would not be joining them in the next few games. This fact underlines the reality that behind every successful team, there is always a player or two who grind the most to ensure that the team remains at the top of the game. In this video, we are going to consider these bedrocks of the Australian Wallabies and reveal the specific instrumental players who can be considered the leaders of the team. Are you curious to find out which players hold together the Wallabies? Then make sure you watch this video to the very end. The first team to leave the shores of Australia to represent the country in rugby converged on the British Isles in 1908. They were nicknamed the Rabbits by a cheeky English press, but were quick to drop this name and adopted the Wallabies as their chosen name. That has stuck until present times. Under the new name, the team went on to win 33 of a possible 39 tour matches, with the headline 9-3 triumph over England giving birth to a legend out of the team. In the century that followed, the Wallabies rose to become a world power in rugby, forged by successes across the globe and built by the characteristics of the men who wore the iconic gold jersey. Twice they have soared to the game's greatest heights, raising the William Webb Ellis Cup on two occasions, in 1991 and 1999. Feats that echo in the minds of the men who wear the jersey today, as they carry the team's greatest hopes to Japan on a mission to scale those almighty heights again. So who are the specific unsung heroes who have offered their blood, sweat and tears to maintain a good performance for the team? Let's find out. Number 1. Michael Hooper First on our list we have Michael Hooper, an Australian professional rugby union player who is captain of the Australian national team, the Wallabies. Hooper is very much the traditional fetcher and a graduate of the St. Pius X College in New South Wales. Born in October 1991, he quickly established himself in the world game as a tearaway open side who can cause havoc at ruck time. Fresh out of school, Hooper made his debut in Super Rugby for the Brumbies against the Chiefs in Canberra. Two years later, and having become a Wallaby, Hooper made the decision to leave the Brumbies and join the Waratahs. He appeared in the 2011 IRB Junior World Championships and was named as International Player of the Tournament. Having cemented his place in the Wallabies, he was unveiled as captain for the side in 2014 and continued to be part of Chaker's setup heading into the 2015 Rugby Championships and RWC. Since making his test debut against Scotland in 2012, Hooper recorded 50 caps in the shortest time of any player, three years and four months, and became the second youngest player to hit the milestone when he ran out against Argentina in the 2015 Rugby World Cup semi-final. Now a five-time Matt Burke Cup winner, he is known for his resilience and durability. Hooper has also captained the national side during the previous three World Cups. He took his test cap tally to 99 during the Wallabies 2019 Rugby World Cup campaign and entered the 2020 Super Rugby season having stepped down as the Waratahs captain. Hooper was the quickest player to ever earn 100 Super Rugby appearances and is set to set the same record at test level. In September 2020, he was reappointed as Wallabies captain. He has played 46 tests as captain, including through two World Cup campaigns. In October, Hooper announced a move out of Australia when he signed for Toyota Verblitz. Later the same month, he earned his 100th test cap, narrowly missing the mark as the youngest to do so after missing a 2019 World Cup game due to injury. Number 2. Taniela Tupou Next, we have Taniela Tupo, an Australian professional rugby union player for the Queensland Reds in Super Rugby and has represented Australia in international rugby. Born in Tonga, he qualifies for Australia by residency. Tupo became an internet sensation after scoring three tries against Culston Boys High and was nicknamed the Tongan Thor. He is extremely quick and agile for a front ranker. The Tongan youngster had interest from the NZRU five French clubs and an English club, 
but opted to sign for Queensland where he plays NRC and was part of the Super Rugby squad. He has expressed a desire to play for Australia, which influenced his decision. The Tongan Thor missed only one of the Reds' 15 Super Rugby matches in 2017 and continued to his fine form for Queensland later that year. In November, he was called into the Wallaby squad and made his test debut against Scotland at Murrayfield on the 24th of November 2017, days after becoming eligible to represent the side. He was included in the Wallaby squad for the 2018 June tests after another strong start to the 2018 Super Rugby season. Tupou featured in all but one of the Wallaby Super Rugby matches and entered the 2018 Rugby Championship with four test caps. In August 2019, he signed a four-year contract extension with Rugby Australia and the Reds. Leading into the World Cup, the Tongan-born prop had won 15 caps for Australia since making his debut against Scotland in 2017. In September 2020, Tupou claimed his maiden Peliki medal after being voted by his teammates as the Queensland Reds' best player in 2020. Hey, do you find this video informative and entertaining? If so, please be sure to visit our channel Tryline, your home of all the amazing facts and developments in the world of rugby. Number 3. Tate McDermott The next player is Tate McDermott, an Australian rugby union player for the Australian national rugby team and the Reds in the Super Rugby competition. His position of choice is scrum half, and in 2017, McDermott made his Australian men's sevens debut at the Wellington Sevens after training with the squad in 2016. Playing for Queensland University in Queensland's premier grade rugby competition, McDermott spent his debut NRC season with Queensland Country in 2017. The halfback signed for the Reds for the 2018 Super Rugby season and went on to skipper the Junior Wallabies for two games during the 2018 Under-20s World Championships in France. After nine appearances for the Reds, McDermott signed a new deal with the squad until at least 2023, following the next Rugby World Cup in France. He played 14 matches and only missed the final two games of the 2019 season, after suffering an ankle injury in round 16 against the Jaguares. Number 4. Quade Cooper Closing our list is none other than Quade Cooper. He is a professional rugby union player and occasional boxer, Although he's a New Zealand citizen, he has represented Australia in rugby at international level. Following on from a breakthrough 2010 Super Rugby season, Quay delighted Reds fans in 2011, finishing the season with a record personal tally of 228 points, which obliterated the Reds' previous best mark, a 171-point effort also set by Quay just a year earlier. Winner of the People's Choice Award at the 2011 Reds Gala, Quaid played in every match during the Reds' Super Rugby title campaign, bringing up his 50th cap for Queensland in Round 1 against the Western Force, before playing game number 50 in Super Rugby the following week against the Waratahs in Sydney. Quaid made his debut for the Reds in 2007 at the age of 18, in just his first year out of school. A naturally gifted player with a freakishly deceptive step, the exciting New Zealand-born product had a tough initiation in 2007 when asked to make the step up from schoolboy rugby to Super 14 level, but showed the benefits of experience as he quickly developed in 2008 and 2009. Called up to the Wallabies in 2009, Quaid earned his first starting appearance against Italy. This translated to immediate success later in the year on the international stage, where he achieved a number of firsts, including his first start at fly half for Australia, a winning debut in the Tri-Nations, and wins over both New Zealand and South Africa. Quaid has struggled with a number of serious injuries in the 2014 and beginning of the 2015 seasons, most notably his shoulder dislocation that ruled him out of both club and national duty. In August 2016, Cooper sealed a three-year deal with the Reds, having already represented the side 105 times from 2006 to 2015, scoring 770 points. October 2018 saw Cooper sign a one-year contract with the Rebels, joining the squad in mid-November for the start of their 2019 pre-season campaign, as he looks to add to his 70 test and 119 Super Rugby caps. Following the end of his contract and not being selected for the Wallabies, Cooper signed on with top league club Kinsetsu Liners ahead of their season. So that's all we had for today and we hoped you've enjoyed it. Did you agree with our list? Are there players who you think we left out? 
or who we slotted to a different position than the one that you prefer. Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe.